now it's working. Okay, I will just wait a bit. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm Ksenia from Neomatica and uh, very happy to be here for the second time in my life because last time was the first time when personally me I participated in this conference and uh, just not to waste uh, your time for some um, prefaces for plays I just wanted to um, uh, tell you just several words about this conference because um, honestly last year when uh, I was here for the first time I was considering this conference as an opportunity to meet new people, to make new acquaintances, uh, new interesting contacts. However, today I understand that uh, this is a great opportunity to uh, meet already known people uh, who you already know, with whom you already work, just to clarify some complicated points with them, to uh, talk uh, with them about uh, your experience, uh, your new things, your technologies, and I think this is a really great conference for this because uh, people come here with uh, really serious and strong ideas and deep understanding of uh, this industry and technology. And uh, thank you very much, Gurtam, for this opportunity. So. Um, Last year, we were uh, first introducing to the audience our wireless products. And uh, my presentation last year was more theoretical than practical because uh, uh, these products uh, were new for us as well because we just started uh, the production and working with these uh, devices. And now, just to... Um, Mm, uh, we decided to make this presentation as practical as possible, as useful as possible for you, because we want to share our experience, the experience, first of all, the experience of our customers, um, because one year um, has gone uh, past, and uh, now we can really tell you about how our customers are using now our wireless GPS trackers, wireless uh, devices. Here in this slide, uh, I just um, uh, wanted to tell you about um, maybe uh, three milestones of our company because uh, in Russia we are famous for being the first company who had the antennas inside uh, the GPS tracker. So embedded antennas in Russia were really, we, we were the pioneers in Russia for this. Tiny GPS tracker is ours because uh, this much box size GPS tracker ADM-07 is ours. And wireless telematics uh, is our uh, new challenge, new invention. And uh, now we have uh, five types of wireless devices. When I say wireless, I mean um, that our devices are based on the technology Bluetooth. But this is not a conventional Bluetooth in the meaning of Bluetooth that you have on your, in your, um, I don't know, for configuration, for example, or uh, for some wireless uh, headset. We are always talking about Bluetooth low energy. Bluetooth low energy is different from the conventional Bluetooth because it has uh, a larger uh, range uh, coverage of 100 meters in the direct li line of sight. And, uh, uh, but with our devices, we guarantee 50 meters, which is quite, quite enough for even long refrigerators and some cold rooms. So we have now uh, wireless GPS trackers. The first is very small and does not have the internal battery, which is ADM-07. Uh, the next, which is uh, the third one, uh, this black one, ADM-333, uh, which has the internal battery. Uh, and uh, we have uh, two types of wireless sensors. The first, uh, which is round and small, measures at the same time temperature, humidity, uh, doors opening uh, through the light entering uh, and uh, uh, through the presence of magnetic field and uh, the, this uh, square sensor, uh, the white one is for inclination monitoring. Uh, so you can monitor uh, cranes operation, forklifts, etc. Et the last one is the Bluetooth relay 
uh, with which you can cut off uh, the engine uh, and uh, uh, actually the advantage of this relay is that uh, in this uh, situation uh, there will be no cable between the GPS tracker and uh, this relay. You can uh, hide this relay in your vehicle uh, and uh, it's passive, so it does not need any signal. Uh, spheres of application of our wireless telematics, uh, actually the, the, the most classic sphere is always about some cold rooms and refrigerators, moving refrigerators, stationary refrigerators, no matter, uh, called uh, storages, garbage collection uh, is for inclination, M monitoring, wireless fuel management, because um, all our GPS trackers, uh, wireless GPS trackers are compatible with new wireless fuel level sensors of Escort and Technoton, our partners and friends. Uh, for trailers monitoring, you can use as well uh, because all our wireless um, sensors play the role of BLE tags because they assign the specific identification number to each object uh, where they are installed. And anti-theft solution, uh, this is the uh, cut-off uh, relay, the wireless relay, which we consider as an anti-theft solution. So uh, all this uh, represents uh, actually a complex and affordable solution because in the, the middle of this um, um, scheme, I placed uh, uh, two wireless trackers uh, and uh, because you can choose uh, any of uh, these GPS trackers and uh, at the same time simultaneously use with which of them all these devices. So the big advantage is that uh, now with uh, wireless uh, GPS trackers you do, do not have to buy really a, an expensive tracking device with many inputs, outputs. Uh, Bluetooth connection uh, solves already this problem of connecting multiple devices to one tracking unit. And uh, here you can see all the devices around which are compatible with our GPS trackers. For example, uh, this is just an example, theoretical example, because honestly I don't know <laughs> customers who are using all these different devices at the same time for one project, but uh, this is just to give you the idea uh, how it could be, because at the same time you can use, for example, three temperature, humidity and door sensors which are around. At the same time you can take two inclination uh, sensors, uh, one uh, axle load sensor which is wireless now in Technoton, uh, two fuel level sensors and one relay. All this only with one GPS tracker uh, and uh, uh, without any cables. So you can use uh, Wylan uh, as your main platform to monitor and to get all the values. Um, in uh, Wylan um, uh, there is a very uh, cool application uh, to work with uh, wireless sensors uh, which is called uh, Sensolator. Here in the upper uh, corner of this slide you can see uh, how you can monitor values in this specific application Sensolator because not everybody knows about uh, this application and uh, every time <laughs> we need to uh, show it to explain how it works. For sure you can uh, build these curves, graphs in Vialon very easily as well. And um, we also uh, decided to simplify the life of our customers much because we uh, created this Android-based application which is completely free, downloadable from the Google Play uh, for free. And uh, you can use uh, this uh, Android-based application uh, on your mobile phone, on your tablet, uh, and generate reports and uh, graphs and curves directly in this application even without using a sophisticated platform and this is for free and uh, even we are considering the possibility of white label of this platform to uh, generate uh, extra revenue for your customers, for yourself for sure. 
uh, it's uh, very comfortable because at the same time you can see, uh, you can just uh, get the data from many devices because uh, in this application um, there is no almost, uh, uh, it's not even limited because uh, actually with your smartphone you can detect all the sensors uh, via Bluetooth around and uh, uh, get reports immediately. Even uh, now we are starting to have uh, some clients who uh, using this application uh, even avoid uh, using GPS trackers and uh, they are just using uh, wireless sensors without GPS trackers be because there are many clients um, who do not need for example to uh, know the location of the object. I'm just talking about stationary objects when GPS tracking is not required. And uh, those customers, they are using uh, sensors without even GPS tracking devices. So, uh, as I promised to you to share some um, experience of our customers, uh, I would like to uh, uh, start with uh, the company from Kuwait. Uh, and uh, thank you very much to Laila and Mohammed <laughs> to share this experience uh, with us and with you because they are uh, the pioneers and uh, last year they were really the first who decided to, uh, one of the first, uh, I mean uh, abroad, uh, who decided to uh, test our devices and um, that was really successful. So the interesting point about their project uh, was that uh, they wanted to, they, their client wanted to install um, temperature and humidity sensors in uh, uh, rather long refrigerators divided into several sections. And uh, the client wanted at the same time to freely move these sensors inside each section to catch, uh, as far as I could understand, the temperature along, uh, yes, just uh, inside the section, because I suppose the temperature uh, was really a challenge uh, for, for the customer. For sure, uh, with wired temperature sensors, this would be quite problematic, because drilling, um, laying cables, and uh, um, I don't know, or just hiring some qualified staff to install all this would be really a big uh, issue and a challenge for this customer. When this customer heard about uh, this possibility of uh, installing just wireless equipment, he was uh, very happy about that. And uh, uh, that was a very uh, affordable solution as well because uh, uh, together with this advantage of very easy installation because um, I know that our Russian clients, they say that the installation on average uh, takes uh, three times uh, um, less time in comparison with wired, uh, traditional wired equipment uh, mounting and installation. So uh, here you can see what they used in Kuwait. They used one uh, GPS tracker very small, very cheap, really, uh, of this size, matchbox size. And uh, they used, together with this GPS tracker, uh, uh, these uh, temperature sensors for each section um, of these uh, refrigerators. And uh, uh, they were able to catch temperature values uh, in several places of these long refrigerators at the same time and in, in the real time. Um, you can see here uh, the values of temperature from three sensors they were able to get. And you can see, it's, it's interesting here because you can see how the temperature values uh, were changing um, a, a, along uh, the, the whole length of this uh, refrigerator. And the graph where, uh, as well, you can see how uh, these values were just changing uh, I would say independence of the place of each device because they are very uh, sensitive uh, to the cooling element in, in the refrigerator. I like this case really, I admire, because that was not, uh, even, even uh, sometimes our customers, they inv invent uh, their own application for our uh, devices. And I like this case about uh, mushrooms in the South Africa because 
uh, this uh, that, that was not a conventional use of our sensors and even we never thought about so such an application because we created them for refrigerators for moving objects for tracks and in the South Africa uh, they had a big challenge because they uh, were always using these uh, um, uh, temperature sensors yes the old-fashioned temperature sensors uh, which uh, do not allow any uh, remote uh, monitoring of temperature. You can just come and uh, to see what the temperature is. They wanted to replace them and uh, to replace them by something really new, affordable, innovative. And uh, in Johannesburg, uh, they uh, took our devices for testing and uh, they uh, placed them in their farm with mushrooms. For sure, our, the, our sensors, they are not capable to, with our sensors, uh, you are not uh, capable to understand the temperature of the soil where these mushrooms grow. However, it was not really necessary for them because they just wanted to understand the average uh, temperature and humidity uh, inside the farm because it's very important for, uh, mushrooms. So um, now I know um, more about mushrooms <laughs> because of them. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, they used uh, actually one GPS tracker and uh, uh, several, uh, uh, actually now they're using five sensors, but uh, here you can see the, scre the, the screenshot from We Alone that was in Limpopo. And uh, um, here I just wanted to uh, add that this specific client requested us to um, um, actually to create uh, a custom firmware for them specifically because uh, they wanted to uh, and they want to use up to 15 temperature sensors with one GPS tracker they want. And uh, uh, actually, we are uh, now creating the custom firmware uh, specifically for this uh, client and uh, um, because it's quite possible, because we have already this experience and even in Russia we had some cases with even about 20 devices which were working at the same time with one GPS tracker. And this specific client, uh, they do not require any GPS moni monitoring. This is, uh, I, I think uh, this case is interesting from the point of view of Vialon because we uh, all know Vialon as the tracking software and this is the case which is not about tracking and it might be a, an interesting opp opportunity for you as well to promote this kind of business and to, to maybe to enter this uh, market sphere, sphere as well you can think of. So uh, here is the case from Russia. Uh, in Russia, we have a very big supply chain uh, uh, company. Um, um, this is not a supply chain, a retailing group, I would say, yes, but they have many supply chain uh, management projects and uh, uh, they, uh, uh, th their case uh, is uh, similar to the case from Kuwait, but I decided to uh, uh, present it here because they want it at the same time using temperature sensors and wireless fuel level sensors. So the project was rather uh, complicated, the budget was as usually limited. Um, and uh, they used at the same time this very small GPS tracker and uh, uh, three sensors of temperature and two wireless fuel level sensors by escort. Uh, all this at the same time, I just uh, want to add that this customer uh, was already using some GPS trackers um, uh, for monitoring, for, 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 for a complex uh, GPS monitoring and uh, they uh, wanted only uh, just very basic and affordable uh, GPS device just to receive values uh, uh, about uh, fuel level, about temperature, humidity, and so on. Um, here is the uh, uh, graph from uh, uh, Wylon as well. Uh, results for fuel monitoring, you can see here two 
a uh, few level sensors and how the values have been changing during the time. And uh, here are the results for temperature and dose monitoring. Uh, for those who do, do not understand about the dose monitoring, just want to say that uh, our sensors uh, are capable to uh, uh, understand whether the doors are open or closed through the light which enters inside the refrigerator if you install it somewhere in the middle, for example. Uh, and uh, the double check is performed uh, by the presence of magnetic field because you just place uh, a magnet and uh, the sensor will uh, catch uh, the proximity of this magnet and will uh, send you an alert uh, if you uh, program this uh, and you will understand where the doors were opened or closed. And uh, mm, we have now the possibility of calibrating our sensors. Uh, I mean the, the sensor ADM31, which is the sensor of uh, temperature, humidity, light and uh, magnetic field. Okay, and uh, these certificates are quite available. So thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Sonia. We do have uh, time for a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, two small questions. Uh, I want to ask you, what is, uh, for the temperature sensor, what is the temperature range measuring? So the temperature range is uh, from minus 30 degrees, I think, up to 65, plus 65 degrees. Plus 65 degrees. But honestly, it's not uh, really limited. It's the um, uh, restriction which is um, actually... Some physical restriction to not be... Uh, uh, which is determined by the battery. So the battery will not last one year. Uh, if the temperature is really high or is really low, you will have to change the battery more often if your temperature is really something exceeding these values. The, uh, the battery inside the sensor, I have the sensor um, here. Yes. Another question, try to understand all the sensor, uh, humidity, temperature, magnetic field, uh, light, uh, they are all in one, it's in only one device, yep? Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, Another question, uh, your sensor working just with uh, Neomatica device or can uh, you have integrated with, all, uh, with some different trackers? Um, we would like. <laughs> you would like. <laughs> <laughs> no, we would like to, uh, we would like you to work only with our devices, but the life is <laughs> hard. <laughs> And we, are uh, we, we have just started the integration pro process with Teltonica, BC, and NAV Telecom. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yep. That is, I just wanted to uh, congratulate Catalan because I didn't say this, but <laughs> for those <laughs> who make the most interesting question, we promise to offer these devices for free. I'm sorry I didn't announce this before. <laughs> no, I announced this in the social networks. <laughs> You know, guys, you start I making questions. Logic. Big <laughs> prices. Rastras. <laughs>